Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Brian and Jim here with Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and today we're checking out South Park Let's Go Tower Defense Play. What a name. Released in 2009, this was developed by Double Six and published by Microsoft. It is a Xbox Live Arcade exclusive. Basically, it's a tower defense game. It stars the characters from South Park. Once again, a South Park game is just taking an established idea and putting their own skin on it. Let's see if this one held up a little better than those N64 titles. All right, so checking out these graphics, obviously this source material for this game is South Park and all the sprites look exactly like they do in the show. Of course, this is more zoomed out because it's a tower defense game. So we kind of had to keep the score fair. I mean, if we were going based on just source material, we'd be giving it 10. But with the criteria we establish and comparing it to other games that are available on Xbox Live at the time, I think we settled on something pretty solid. There's no real complaints. Everything's nice and colorful. The animations are pretty cool. So as you see, we both gave it sevens. Definitely above average. I'm not faulting it really for anything. It's just obviously the Xbox Live Arcade can do a whole lot more. And as far as beer, no need. It does the job really well. The sound. Uh, the sound's actually a very decent package. The music in it's good. It's good background noise. It's nothing too spectacular. It's not really memorable, but it really does get the job done. The voice work? The voice work's great. Like all the other games, it's done by the people from South Park. So you really can't find any fault there. If I did have some fault, in-game some of the sayings can get eh, pretty repetitive. The little cutscenes before and after each level, just like any other South Park game, they keep the crude humor, they're funny, they're well done. It's basically the South Park experience. So, with all that being said, Brian gave it a 7, I gave it a 6. We felt that it could have had maybe a little more added to it than it did. What the hell, it's fine for what it is. Beer. I'll just add one beer just because, eh, they could have had a few more sayings. So the control is, it's a tower defense game. And for anyone who's never played a tower defense game, the goal is to just put out your towers, build up your walls, collect coins, and upgrade your towers if you're available to fight off waves and waves of enemy. However, in this particular game, you can control one of the characters, and you can throw snowballs, and you can power them up with the A button. The biggest issue I have was really just the switching between characters. I, I just kind of felt like there could have been an easier way, like maybe just use the directional pad instead of using the bumpers. Sometimes it felt like the placement of towers was just so pixel perfect and it would work and it wouldn't work. I can't really describe it. By no means is the control rough and it allows you to play pretty well. But that's probably my biggest issues with it, and I think Jim would agree. So, if you look at our scores, we both gave it 8s. Well above average, but like I said, it's just the character selection could have been a little bit better. As far as beer, I'm just going to add one beer, just because we would have liked to see these developers take use of the D-pad in this game. Alright, the gameplay. Well, Brian already kind of hit on it. Ah, how do you like it? Son of a bitch, I don't like this feeling! That's my bit! I steal your stuff! <laughs> so, like Brian said, it's a tower defense game. So you're going to know right then and there whether or not this is going to be the kind of game for you. Besides just the general gameplay, it's actually fun that it took the more modern approach of having a usable, playable character while you're still putting your stuff down. A lot of other games have copied it. I'm not saying this is the first one to do it, but it's the first one I played that did it. Also, there's a ton, a ton of stuff in this game. Each level has very unique designs from the one before it. All the different tower defensible items, you know, the walls, the freeze cannons. Some stuff you've seen before, some stuff is pretty unique. Jim, you mean like the P Tower? Yes, like the P Tower. Always with the P. It's a P Tron. Ah, God damn it. Ah, P Tron. P this. Anyway, after a couple levels, you have big boss fights, which is cool. It adds a little more to the game. So, without going too much into the replayability, overall this is just a solid tower defense game. So, if you like these kind of games, you're going to enjoy this package. Score-wise, Brian gave it a 7, I gave it a 9. I personally love the shit out of tower defense games ever since StarCraft. StarCraft wasn't a tower defense, it was an RTS! God damn it, it was one of the first things to have tower defense because of user-generated used map settings content! RTS! Duh. Anyway, I'm just going to add one beer. 
It's a very solid package, though maybe it could have been a little easier to position your stuff. Well, like Jim mentioned, and like we've seen in all the previous South Park games, the game is really nothing new as far as mechanics for a tower defense game or in gaming general. However, South Park put their flair on it, added those goofy weapons that Jim mentioned, and I guess really that's where all the originality comes in. Maybe the only other area of originality we really saw is the sheer number of people you can unlock for a tower defense game. It's pretty impressive. So, with that being said, we both gave it fives. It's right on the cusp of average. Added enough new players and weapons that we hadn't seen before, but it does nothing new for the genre. I'm going to add just one beer, because I know Jim will probably repeat way too much in replayability. No goddammit, no! The replayability. I'll keep this quick. Every level you get graded on how well you do, so it'll take a lot of practice, and you're really going to need to hone your skills in to get the top levels. But... If a level's too hard for you, there you can always skip it and get the turd medal. So that's actually pretty funny. Besides that, there's lots of random clips to unlock. There's different characters to unlock. There's just a ton of content here. Plus, the ability to play online adds to it as well. Long story short, we both gave it eights. There's a lot going on here. And while the core gameplay is basically straightforward, it gives you just enough to keep you coming back for more. As far as beer goes, I'm going to add... I'll just add one beer. And why? Because Brian's a goddamn turd sandwich. You're a turd sandwich. What? No! No! I said you are! You're a turd sandwich. What the fuck? No! Ah! So overall, I am personally not a huge fan of tower defense games. Jim loves the shit out of them. They're awesome! But, with that being said, we, we both had a lot of fun. My personal favorite part of this game was the unlockables. I love just kept going back to levels or finishing off certain characters so I can lock all the video clips, even though I've seen the show a million times. I love shit like that, because it's free and it's not some bullshit DLC. But that's besides the point. It's a solid all-around game, whether you're a fan of South Park or Tower Defense, you need to check it out. So as you can see from our scores, we both gave it a 7. Well above average, I think it cost, I think I got it on sale and it was five bucks. It might cost ten dollars now. It's worth it. You'll get at least six or more hours of fun out of this game. And when we combined all of our scores together, it comes to a 7.1. So once again, it's pretty much right on the money with how we feel about this game. So make sure you go check it out. And if you don't have an Xbox Live, well, you're a turd sandwich. When it comes to beer pairing, we're actually going to suggest the Cascade Apricot Ale. This is a sour beer, and just like tower defense games, sour beers are for a particular type of person. If you enjoy tower games, you're going to enjoy South Park. If you enjoy sour beers, then you're definitely going to enjoy the Apricot Ale. It has a ton of flavor, but if you're a person who doesn't enjoy sours, at the least bit, it'll be an interesting experience for you. So, grab a bottle, turn on this game, and have some fun. And remember to drink your beers and play your games responsibly. As always, guys, thanks for checking out this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave some comments, or better yet, why not subscribe? Till next time, guys. Cheers.